Goku again here everyone, the Starlight Let's Play is here, and welcome to part 19 of Mega Dimension Neptunia. So in the last part, we had to save a few civilians from a monster, and we finally able to clear Noir's name. So now we can move freely anywhere. Yeah, I agree on that part, Noir. I agree a lot. But anyway, on to the story. Let's continue on. You're the one who was acting weird, Uni. Welcome home, Noir. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're home. Thanks for looking after things, Keisha. No, it was my pleasure. It wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Noir, I'm gonna go rest in my room. I'm, uh, I'm feeling really tired. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I bet you are. Fever it's not the fact that you were hanging out with a fake Don't Noir. Worry, it's just anxiety. This was a pretty tiring day. Okay, well, don't push yourself too hard next time. My you God, that glare on the on Keisha's face. You do. Jeez, don't baby me, Noir. You worry too much. Besides, you're one to talk. I probably picked up that trait from you. Hey, don't make that also explains how you're a basic soon, well, Uni. That's also explain that. Right. Good night. You were following too much. You were following Noir's hey. footsteps too much. Yes, of course she is. She's my youngest sister. I see. Okay, hold well, up. It says she said youngest. Yet the subtitle said younger. I feel a little uneasy about Uni, so I should go check up on her. You should go ahead and rest first, Keisha. Oh, I need dinner because I thought it would make her happy. If that girl wasn't here, would she have eaten it? I'm sure things will get better tomorrow. I'll be able to talk a lot more with Noir. Yes, once tomorrow comes. Oh, Noir. What can I do for you to just take a minute and look at me? Uh, Keisha. the next day. Hey, Keisha. Gee, oh. how long are you planning on sleeping? Mm. Oh, this is her dream. You're finally up. You took long enough. Why are you dozing off so much, Keisha? Noir? What was I doing? We were eating and you just conked out. Come on, Keisha. You're not a kid. Get it together. Eating? <laughs> That's right. Wait. Where's Uni? Who? Is that one of your classmates? <laughs> the two of us have been living together for a month already, and I don't think I've ever heard you mention Uni or whoever before. Right. Wow. You and me live together now. Just the two of us. Just me and Noir. I can't Damn. messing with me. But whatever. Come on already. Finish eating. Weren't we supposed to go shopping today? Yes. <sighs> wow. The, mis the mysterious woman, she really She really she also has the ability to manipulate people into dreaming. Into into having alternate dreams. God damn. Look at her, lost in her beautiful dream. The larger the gap between dreams and reality, the more devastating her despair will be. I've sown the seed. Keisha, what kind of flower will it bring forth? Oh, shit. It's all that girl's fault in the war won't notice me. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What's wrong, Keisha? Why do you even have a gun? Because and why is he shooting in the goddamn room? What? What's all the commotion about? Noir, please, wait a moment. I'm getting rid of this obstacle right away. Uh, excuse me? What's wrong with you? You're acting strange. You're the strange one. Being so close to your sister and not me. Seriously, the fuck? Wrong, Keisha? This isn't normal, and you're being incredibly weird. Noir, move! I can't kill her with you in the way. Ah! You're right. I don't 
don't need to kill you point blank. Keisha, you... Mimi, let's have a duel. Winner takes more. A duel? The fuck? Oh, what? Well. Bird would be fine with just killing you. But it's better to fight fair and square in front of Noir. That way, you'll be able to accept defeat and die honorably. Won't you? What? The place will be... Ah, yes. Let's make it the Golden Summit. I'll be waiting on the top floor. Let's go! Wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, you're gonna know why I'm hyped for that. Keisha just walked into my room before suddenly attacking me. What the hell is going on with her? That was anything but normal. Yeah, she was being a total yandere, and it was terrifying. I've heard rumors, but I didn't know it could be so bad. But what drove her to that state? I don't know what happened. We need to go to the Golden Summit and find out ourselves. Alright, firstly, uh, Uni, you were hearing those rumors about- Yeah, you were hearing those rumors about Yandere's. You do not want to play Yandere's Simulator. Or if you have a TV, you do not want to watch, um, uh, Future Diary. You do not want to watch that. You will- <laughs> You will be traumatized by that shit. I'm telling you right now, you will be traumatized by that Yandere Simulator game. And you will be- <laughs> You'll probably be more traumatized by watching Future Diary, so... Please do- Please stay away from those. But anyway, we're on our way to the Golden Summit. And I gotta say, man, the way- <laughs> Case is just walking into the room, busting the caps. What? Just to kill Uni? God damn. Alright, so we're inside the Golden Summit. And uh this is actually the first this is actually the first one we've been in. Uh and this is the first time we've actually been in the Golden Summit. So, because in Neptune's playthrough, we don't actually go into the Golden Summit at all. This only happens in the War and Blind's playthroughs. But anyway, um, this... I'm going to shut up for a second, but this is the reason why. Oh my god, I <laughs> I love that theme. I love the Golden Summit theme. It is too damn good. <coughs> Excuse me, but <coughs> this is this is the reason why I love going to the Golden Summit. <coughs> uh, excuse me, but yeah, that's the reason that's the reason why I love going to the Golden Summit. Just from hearing this theme, it's it's too damn good. Oh shit, now we're surrounded by a whole pack of monsters. Shit! Oh, well that takes care of that monster. Well, those pack of monsters, god damn. Oh, so many. Alright, let's get these items. Alright, so there's a save point. I gotta he So I gotta heal Uni first, before I actually get started, but... At this point, it's no, it's really no use. But anyway, uh, this is probably the reason why. This is gonna be the reason why I decided to buy those. I decided to buy those, uh, those ultimate weapons for Noir, because once we, because we're about to go into the fight, and you're about to see some of the most bullshit, some of the most bullshit, like you really gotta see for yourself. It's no way to describe it. So late, and I was bored. 
ended up making a lot of noirs. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, what the fuck? Why did you make so many? Why this is hyper to mention them turning your victory all over again. Oh, that's a lot of big sisters. How did they look? You know that moment you know one of those moments where a nun like that moment where Nana Death was surrounded by fake noirs from the ultra dimension? <laughs> He was like he was on the verge of grabbing a titty. Oh shit. This is the only option right now. She's not gonna listen to anything else. But I'm sure my voice will reach her during battle. Okay, I get it, I guess. But Noir, can you just tell me one thing? Do you like Keisha? Huh? Why the sudden question? If you really like her, then tell her. Properly. What do you mean? Just do it. But try not to say things that sound like you ripped them from a stupid harem romance novel. And hurry! Hey. <laughs> right. Noir, are you what are we referring to here? Neko Power or something? Completely. I can appreciate a challenge. I like people who are stronger than me, too. I see. Then Though I don't know when Neko Power came out. I mean, this game came out in 2015. In Japanese time. Alright, so But look at this shit. Oh my god. Look at this! Look at this shit! She drained our health almost to half! And she wasn't even using a skill! This is This is why I bought the um this is why I had to level up a bit more and this is why I bought those ultimate weapons. Cause this fight is ridiculous. Like Keisha's Gatling guns, they can be so annoying. And they take so much damage. They take too much damage. If she if she uses a skill on you, it might even it might even one shot kill you. I know it's make. I know it's dependent on the um. I know it's dependent on the level, but it can still be a pain in the ass. How can I lose? Even when I love Noir this much. Love? What are you saying? You're more kind and stronger than anyone I know. Not to mention you're cute and stylish and graceful. Ever since I met you in that park in Planetune, I've been in love with you, Noir. Keisha, oh my. I want you to notice me. I want you to know me. But you don't even look at me. That's not true. I've been looking. That's a lie and you know it. You don't look at all. You're always too busy with uni. Even when you told me we'd be friends. Why have you betrayed me? Friends? The fuck? Oh, I can't put up with this. Noir! Why did I become 
friends with a girl like this? Why are you saying something so horrible? Because all you wanted was a friendship that was convenient for you, right? Friends. Yeah, right, friends. Calling such a shallow relationship a friendship is almost laughable. Keisha, I seriously thought I could become a real friend to you. A real friend? I mean, to be fair, it's technically not her fault seeing that she was manipulated like this. Even gets angry with you. If we were doing something wrong, we'd scold each other, fight, then make up. And I don't know if I'm just crazy, but this is still here right now. Won't you let me become your true friend? Noir. If you're having troubles, I'd help you get through them. We could get through it all together. If you're smiling, I want to be there right next to you, smiling with you. I... Aww. I... Keisha, you're just... Don't you ever for a second get to thinking you're replaceable. Oh, you're come on! Like, I, know. <laughs> I know this is a touching moment. Did she really have to make a Beyonce reference? I'm embarrassing this kind of stuff. God damn. <laughs> if I would have just told you this, we wouldn't have had so much trouble. Please, don't apologize. You're not at fault. I want to be a real friend to you as well. I want to always be with you too. Me too, Keisha. I'm sorry. I've caused so much trouble. Um, and I've been so horrible to Yumi. It's okay, Keisha. It wasn't enough to make me hold a grudge. I get it. Thank you, Yumi. Now that we've resolved this safely, let's head back to last station. There's a billion things I want to ask you. Yes, I won't hide things from you anymore. Please, ask me anything. We're real friends now. Right. <laughs> so we are. Uh, um, Noir? If, if it's alright, please give me your hand. Hand? Do you want me to hold it out? Uh, why are you shaking it? I <laughs> wish to ask formally. Please, be my friend. My true, close friend. Of course. Let's be close friends, Keisha. Thank you so much. Oh, also... Please try to get along with Uni. <sighs> Do you hate Uni? Maybe because she takes me away from you? Uh, I'm sorry. These feelings of wanting to possess you solely haven't left yet. Well, you'll just have to get used to it. Uni is my sister and is very dear to me. I'd be happy if you both got along. I... Aww. work hard at it. Is it something you have to work so hard on? <laughs> well, Yumi likes you, so I feel like you two can get along all right. Uh, um, Noir, there's one thing I'd like to confirm. Confirm? What's up? I confessed to you about how I loved you, but I haven't gotten a response yet. Oh! <laughs> like, even Yumi's laughing in the background. <laughs> She already knows the shit's getting too good. Uh, well, that was that was that was something. Is my skirt too short? It's fine, right? Your skirt is always too short. It's a mini skirt.
Damn. Damn, the orders are going. The order is going harder than hard. So she was trained to be a soldier and was really good at uh, wielding a gun, but whenever she saw schoolgirls or just young girls in general, it makes her think that she wants to be a normal girl. Damn, that's, that's actually sad. Sad to the fact that she never got she never got the chance to live her life as a normal girl. <laughs> that does sound ironic.
Don't want to pick up a gun to an unfair fight, though. Alright, so we're going back into the Golden Summit. There's a lot to there's a lot to unpack to unpack on this. So as I said before, Keisha was trained to become a military soldier. But when she saw how girls are living a normal life, it makes her wonder. It makes her wonder to live a normal life as well. Alright, got that out of the way. But yeah. But yeah, she wanted to live a life as a normal girl. And Okay, so, and Kate and like the uh, the uh, older woman, they she wanted like as you saw at the beginning, she wanted Keisha to assassinate Noir, but when she finally got over her control and she couldn't like bring herself to do that, the older woman is now changing their targets to the Golden Summit in order to um destroy the um power source of it in order to nullify Keisha's powers. So we already know. So that's pretty much what's going on. All right, back into the Golden Summit. We already know. We already. Know, I already know. I love. We already know. I love this music. I actually made a remix. I actually made like. An instrumental remix of this actual uh, theme. Like I've been te I've been teasing it for like months, for like a whole. I've been teasing it for like almost a year, but I can assure you, after this video, oh. <sighs> but yeah, as I was saying. I'm actually I'm actually considering the posting the actual instrumental um right after this one right after this part so y'all can have a chance to listen to it it's on SoundCloud but if you want to listen to it on YouTube then I'll post it on I'll post it after this part Yeah, I guess you can. Uh, not too overprotective, but still. But we should probably heal up Uni before we actually get into the fight. The last thing I want to see is a goddamn game over on this playthrough. And so far, we've been going through this going through this game without a single game over. So thank God, we're already halfway into this game. We're about to be halfway through. Once we're done with Noir's playthrough. What is that robot? So CPUs, you've come What in the F U C K? We met you at the Basilicom. Looks like Keisha's intuition was spot on. I thought she'd lost her edge, but her instincts are as sharp as they were when she was in the order. She should have waited patiently for death. Just as suspected. You're planning on destroying this tower with that robot. We won't let you. Even if you take out Keisha, we'll stop you. How foolish. The position you all are in doesn't warrant this excess of confidence. This was created some time ago to destroy you. To destroy any and all CPUs. Consider it an anti-CPU mobile weapon. It may Holy, be well, what? Nonsense, but 
You're sorely mistaken if you think some machine can defeat us. Let's go, Uni. Right. Oh, here we go. You can sit back and watch as we turn that robot into a pile of scrap metal. Transformation complete. I won't let you kill my sister or Keisha. I'll show you the power of glass. There's no enemy you. I can't shoot down. Uh, you know we gotta do this. We know we gotta do this. <laughs> you already know. Where are you looking? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Whoever came up with that move for Uni is a genius. Like. <laughs> I said this before, but when it comes to having booty, Uni is top three. I never miss. You say you never miss. We'll see about that. All right, you're not lying. <laughs> like. I mean, I don't really need to use the moves though, but. Again, I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you to that. No oh, the parts break. Okay. I'll mow them down. <laughs> All right. We're down. One more. Next. Who's my opponent? I mean, I thought this. What yeah, didn't kill him. I mean, I really didn't need you. Infinite Slash! I'll be honest, I only did that move just to flex. There we go! 10k damage, there we go. And we leveled up. I leveled up. Oh, that burst bounce. Perfectly. And my god, that smug face on Uni. <laughs> For a weapon that's supposed to be anti CPU, it was all bark and no bite. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't let my guard down just yet, Blackheart. Appreciated your personality more than now, Blackheart. And press. Oh shit. Omar, cover your mouth. Don't breathe in that mist. <laughs> Foolish. You cannot escape. It's useless for you to close your mouth. Your body will absorb it from the air. Well, then, at least the war. Damn. Uh, no it's CP no wonder it's CPU proof. Didn't I say? This is an anti-CPU weapon. We've been putting all of our efforts into this virus to crush you. It's a shame they put so much money, blood, sweat, and tears into this goddamn machine just, just to shoot out a goddamn gas. That is unavoidable. Why don't we say unavoidable? You can't move out of the way, but... Even if you, even if you cover your mouth and nose, the fact that your body will absorb it... That can be pretty dangerous. That was just a tranquilizer, by the way. We can't have you dead just yet. Keisha, it's an emergency. <laughs> oh my God, she put the order woman to sleep with a tranquilizer, just to shut her fucking mouth. Goddamn. Too late. You idiot! 
Don't even talk like that! I'm not letting you die! It's pointless. I know myself better than anyone. Uni, no! Please, Uni, don't give up now! I'll do something. We'll manage something. Keep your eyes open. Stay with me, Uni! You are... candidate it's not like this was never expected it's a part of our job i'm at peace with it Uni. but i'm i'm scared you are i'm so scared i don't want to die uni uni this isn't right i can't let it end like this if what that woman was saying is true, Uni might still have a chance. I can save her. Save her, huh? You think you can save a life? The life of someone who was raised as a soldier and has blood on her hands? I was raised by the order to defeat the CPUs from the moment the virus was completed years ago. I've carried it within me. It reused my blood that's hosted the virus for so long. I can synthesize a serum. But... Are you okay with that, truly? If you do this, Uni will, unfortunately, be saved. That's unfortunately? Put it. This is someone's life we're talking about. If Uni disappeared now, what do you think could happen? You know, you'd have Noir all to yourself. No distractions. But that's not... And this was an accident. If Uni doesn't survive, that death is not on you. Just pretend to treat her wounds. Even if Uni dies, Noir will see you as the brave, dear friend who was devoted to saving her sister. And you will have been there to stand beside her as her sister passes. She'll be certain to hold a special place for you in her heart. But even then, I have no desire to see Noir look so sad. I see. Then I am truly disappointed in you. If you do go through with this, I hope you will not regret saving her. What are you? I'm going to create a serum using my blood. What are you talking about? Please explain. There's no time now. I'll explain later. Noir, do your best to keep Uni awake. Don't let her fall asleep. Or we might lose her for good. Oh, okay. I will save you, Uni. Just hold on. I've administered the serum. Her condition should subside once some time passes. <laughs> Uni? Noir? How are you feeling? Does it hurt anywhere? My head's still fuzzy. But I think I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness! Uni, I was so worried. I'm sorry, Noir. Thank goodness! Really? <laughs> Hey, okay, stop crying already. And it hurts when you hug my neck like that. Oh, oh right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just so, so happy. I'm not gonna let go of you ever again. I'll always stay right here by your side. You're blowing things out of proportion. But I'm happy to hear you say that. I'm so glad you need to say My God. Whew. Yes. I'm sorry to say this, but like You're alone again. that moment of Uni oh nearly dying, that's <laughs> to me that is way more tra that can be way more tragic than how Uni actually died and how Uni actually died in Mark Two. Like the way Noir is seen that she was about to lose her younger sister right in front of her eyes, that that can be very tragic. Way more than how Uni died by Nepgear's hands by forcing her to do it. You will remain alone. All because you decided to save Uni. Because Uni survived. Why did I save her? <laughs> I like you, Keisha. Although you're the ultimate soldier, your heart is comically weak. Keisha? What 
What's wrong? Oh, Noir! Noir! I'm right here, Keisha. I'm right here, so calm down. Noir, help me! All of this animosity is overflowing. I can't hold back anymore. Noir oh, no. Noir wants to be with Yumi, not you, Keisha. You won't oh, be no. Oh no, the Yada that has once again returned. Oh no. Hi, my girl. I get it. Shut the fuck up. Lost her. We lost her. Yeah, uh, I feel okay. So good. Let's beat some sense into her. What? Is there seriously no alternative? Is it even a good idea to knock around that screwy brain of hers when she's like this? She asked me to save her, and that's what I'm gonna do. If she can't talk to us, then we just have to calm her down until she can. That may be true, but what if push comes to shove and you have to hurt her? Will you be all right with that? If something ends up happening to her, I'll take care of her for the rest of my life. What? Whoa. You're kidding. She's nuts, Noir. Yuni, that girl just saved you. Say what you want, but there's good in her still. So no, I'm not freaking kidding about this. Let's go. My God. Oh, sh oh shit. Well, thank God we got Uni on our side. Otherwise, this fight would be a pain in the ass again. For once, I'm actually glad the ultimate weapons actually work for once. say this right now if you actually go through this whole game without having to use the ultimate weapons you you my friend are a true prodigy look at this shit he just KO'd us god damn Keisha calm down No, 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 no. 
Oh. My fucking god. This chick here. Yeah, well, Keisha's a pain. Don't worry, I'll snipe him. You better snipe him. You're not going Jesus to Christ. It's my turn. What half skill points with Uni? Up. No, no, no. Woo! Somehow we survived. Somehow we survive. Alright, healing once again. My god. Whose idea was to give this chick five health bars? What the fuck? Oh, six! Six goddamn health bars! This is gonna hurt. Okay, we got 300 health. We completed that challenge. Holy shit. We almost about to die with Noir. Alright, going HDD. That ass, <laughs> that booty. Oh, my God. You already know I gotta use a thumbnail off Uni's booty. All right, we're going HDD for Noir this time. But man, that bus bounce. <laughs> You are not Scorpion, Blackheart. So freaking get over here. Alright, going for the Venom shot. Please finish this, Noir. There we go. And we leveled up. All my hard work is paying off. I s <laughs> that goddamn smug face. Two fights in a row is pretty rough. I'm exhausted. Huh? huh? What was I? You finally calmed down. Jeez, what a hassle. You are. What did you do? I just destroyed the source of my power, the gold crystal. Lots of share power was flowing through the crystal directly into me. But because I had this power, I just became a pawn. I was used. I didn't think such a secret existed in this tower. You are. I'm so sorry. There's no way I could still be your friend after all this. I won't get close to you. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll just make more trouble for you. So please, forget about Wee Noir. It may take some time, but I'll forget as well. Do you want to forget me? If you cause trouble, if you hurt me, you just want to forget me and pretend it never happened? Oh, you really are an idiot. This sort of thing is like a daily occurrence for us. <laughs> Daily occurrence? Something like this? There's a dumbass out there who always brings trouble with her and has petty fights over games every other week. And on top of that, <laughs> even though she's at fault. <laughs> I'm sure we already know who she's referring to. Uh, um, 
I mean, she's not lying, though. She can be a total dumbass at times. So, Keisha, don't keep saying stuff about not being friends anymore or wanting me to forget you. It's unnecessarily sad. Sad? That can't be true. I was jealous, possessive, and I couldn't contain it. It made me so reckless in the end. How could you ever forgive me? But you were being controlled in the end. What do you expect? For, what were you expecting to do? Better once you have more friends around you. It's no big deal, really. What if I lose it again and hurt someone? We'll cross that bridge if we ever get there, and I'll just punch you again to knock some sense back into you. I promised you, didn't I? If you were doing something wrong, I'd stop you, even if I had to beat you silly. But then, it's all right for me to continue being your friend. I might not look like it, but I'm actually pretty clingy. Don't think you can just stop being my friend so easily, okay? Noir, thank you. I, I, jeez, why are you crying? Come on, there's no point hanging around here. Let's go home. Yes. Is this happily ever after? I hope so, Uni. I hope so. But anyway, that is it for this part. Uh, stick around for part 20 as we finally end this playthrough. I, we finally end the war story once and for all. So uh, I'll see you then. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, by all means, give it a like. And uh, if you want to see more of this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn those notification bells on as well. Also, if you want, you can also check out my two Twitter accounts. The first one being Kill Starlight, aka Starzy, and the second one being Starzy, the Pretty Kill Veteran. Both of these will be in the description below. And you can also check out my Discord as well if you want to join in to uh, talk about Pretty Kill and Neptunia and all that stuff. But yeah, that's all that said. Until then, this is the Starlight Let's Play signing out. As always, Goku Ginyo, and I'll see you all in the next video. Tell me what you want, tell me what you need. She gon' party like she in the swinging 70s. Now I'm riding through the sunset just like I'm a boss We be riding all for night Girl, let's take it slow Just wanna make sure that you're comfortable Call you my princess, I'm your prince Just to let you know You're such a hottie, you could be in a fashion show